Have a blessed Easter to all. This is Sister Cora for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has sent me, has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Self-revelation is always an act of intimacy and a risk. The Incarnation is God's initiative to enter the most profound intimacy with human beings and to risk to be vulnerable. In the person of Jesus, God allows the divine self to be known, seen, heard, and touched. Jesus is God's offer of intimacy with us. If in the Old Testament, Moses had to enter the meeting tent to commune with God, now Jesus is that meeting tent where we can rest in God's presence and know that we are accepted and loved just as we are. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in you we experience here on earth the beginning of the fulfillment of our heart's most ardent longing for communion with our divine origin. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel.